Welcome everyone to the Bristol Dirt Race Review. I feel like there's some stuff we can talk about here, so free content for me. Let's start off at the start of what looks like lap three. This one, I originally said he dumped me. To be fair, I think I was already loose, so my apologies to Anthony. I was already loose. Then there's me missing pit road like twice. Hold on, I just want to get this in. I missed pit road twice. And missed the merging a lot. There's Max Logano blocking Anthony. How Max did not get a one out of three that race, I genuinely do not understand. Because he was just Logano blocking the whole race. That was BT just, you know. There's Anthony, who bumper locks me and sends me straight into Max. He gets a little loose, but the bump and run works. I get into his quarter panel, he slams into me on entry. Just seems to forget that I'm actually in existence. And then you got this incident. I was already loose, but the tap from Rota basically sent it me. I was already loose, I got tapped. I was already a loose, I was going to correct it, it would have been fine. And then Rota gave me the tap, which sent me basically straight into them. And Anthony backed me up there. That's Anthony walling me. So, Rota with the uh, getting bumper locked, I think that was. Let's get to this point. Anthony almost hits the pit, inside pit wall. Um... This is Rota just going for a move, which he really didn't need to. Slams me a bit, but you know, that's dirt racing. This is, this is completely on Andrew. Because, yeah. I did blame it on Rota originally, but yeah, it is more Andrew, if anything. Now, you may remember I have a bit of beef with Rota. Because, you know, he messed up my stewarding at Martinsville. So, y you'll see what happened. You'll see. Rhoda just abusing his admin. Look at that, I overtook like four people in one corner or something. Let's have a look, how many? Yeah, I overtook like three people. <laughs> I get up the inside of Rota, and there is the retaliation. I'm surprised no one picked that up. I'm really surprised nobody picked that up. But that was an intentional wreck. I will fully say it, that was an intentional wreck. Uh, basically, this is revenge for what happened at Martinsville, I dumped him. Max slams me into the wall, nothing too terrible, you know, people get slammed in the wall all the time. I got loose then, you can clearly see I get loose. How did I not hit pit wall there? Max is just going for a move which he shouldn't, and yeah. Yeah, I knew I was going to wreck. AFK, because I just got Domino's, so I was eating my pizza while racing. 
and a caution was called. I got a tarot, well, to be fair, I think. I jumped the start, so I went straight to the back. I jumped the start by quite some margin. BT walls me, and... It may look like I intentionally wrecked him here, but there's not much I really could have done. I just got a bit too high, and bang. There was nothing I could do. I was trying to get out of that. My terrible merge. Rota attempting to almost wreck me by going backwards. I somehow managed to catch up to the field. Yeah, I, I kept getting loose in the first one, but the second one I was fine usually. So. There wasn't much I really could do here. Like, I'm there, you know. Uh, I, I think he must have mistyped it, because he said, park me. Like, bro, what did I do? <laughs> It was more Max, if anything, that did that. It wasn't Rota. It was more Max. I'm good at saving the car, though. That's what I noticed from this race. You can see here that Max, I think it is. Lugano blocks the entire field. And Shadow just don't know how he does that. He had been doing it all race at that point. Nothing I could do there. Then came this. Where Anthony basically dumped me. But you can see he's just turning me into the wall there. And then he just cuts up track and wrecks me. Like, I saw that as an intentional dump. I don't know if that was him being stupid. Or just him actually trying to wreck me. But I saw that as a dump. So... There's nothing interesting. Then the screen. Then our screen froze for a solid few minutes. Roblox did have an autism moment. I can say that. Because I have autism. So, bit of an L. Somehow, BT rolled. I'm not quite sure how he did that. That's one of the biggest crashes I've seen in this league. Everyone fails at lining up. Uh, I think I, I was seeking revenge though. I wanted to show that I'm not there to be messed about. And uh, 
You can see I'm planning for it. He goes what? And then I go straight into the quarter panel and round he goes. I... He blamed me and I think I heard Dare saying... Uh... I think Dare said something along the lines of... Did he take get retaliation? And I was like, I'll take that one out of three. Which is like a warning. Say, hey, don't do that again. You get three penalties, you get a drive through. So that, that's kind of where it's at. Uh, yeah, I tried to catch up with Anthony and Rota, who were having a very good, very good battle at this point. Rota slamming into Anthony, but takes the lead of the race. Rota, of course, hasn't won yet this season. That was my fault, of course. I didn't see him there, but that, you know, that's dirt racing, that happens. I have to try and get on the quarter panel of Shadow to try and stay in the track. It's kind of what I do in Rose Stock. This is very different to Rose Stock, though. I'm just wondering, what was Max... Are you seriously crying about that, man? Are you seriously crying about that? He literally just forced you at high. There's nothing worthy of a one out of three there. No. He just forced you high. That's all he did. Bro, cry about it, man. There it goes. I didn't. I wasn't even watching. There it goes. Yeah. Andrew just got forced down there, and then got straight into Anthony. That was Shadow just being Shadow. And I was catching up to Rota here. I wasn't planning to wreck him ever. I only wanted one dump. And then the bump and run. And then he tries to force me down, but I take the lead. Rota basically almost forced me into the pit wall. I don't know if Anthony's trying to dump me ag again, but... I was thinking of typing this guy. As you can see, he's just trying to dump me. Like, bro, what are you doing? Anthony is either really good at driving or really terrible, and today he was both. And then, you know, I was trying not to get loose. I go for a move I probably shouldn't have gone for. I didn't even try to go for the move. I. This is just everyone wrecking everyone. I don't really see one sole perpetrator. And then Max Logano blocking BT into Rota and Anthony. Who were, these four were really just at the front all race. And then here is the final lap. You can see Andrew straight into me, into the wall. Because I was at that point on for like top five. And I end up unfortunately last. Which I would say is one of the most undeserving 
last place finishes I have ever had because I raced so well that race. He claims he got forced, which, if you look at OS's stream, hold up, I'm just going to get it up. If we look at OS's stream, which is the guy who runs this, I couldn't race in this because you know, I was asleep. Just hold up. I feel like it sucks that I got last. He was forced into the pit by, I think it was Shadow. I'm sorry, this video is incredibly laggy. I've got no idea why. So damn, OS's internet this race was insanely good. Yeah. He tried, but... I don't feel he really tries to turn, though. But, you know, it happens, it's racing sucks that I got last it really sucks but that's how it is let's also have a look at this and there's Max Lugano blocking shadow yet again you know, that, that's how the race is Anthony wrecked two people yet no one. When did he wreck people? I mean, the PT's been spammed. You know, PT provided some clips and was like, yeah, this, this, this. But, you know, it's our first ever back-to-back -back winner. And it's pretty impressive that it came from one of the worst drivers on the grid, who also got intentionally wrecked earlier in the race. But, yeah, that's how it is. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all soon.